hi everyone you're welcome to feel cool mathematics and today we have x to the power of 3 plus x equals 2 okay so the question is how do we deal with this and here is what i want us to do you should be able to know that these two can be 1 plus 1 right so if I do that, I'll have x to the power of 3 plus x equals 1 plus 1. And then the next thing is to bring these two to the left. We will now have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 minus 1 equals 0. Now, the next target is to make sure that we have something like, like this from here. And mind you, we can now have our x to the power of 3 plus x. This one here, I'll write it as 1 to the power of 3, then minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So that I can now compare what we have. Remember, we are to solve it completely. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 together. Then plus, I have this, x minus 1 together. Then everything is equal to 0. Guess what I have here? Difference of 2 squares. I mean difference of 2 cubes because of the power of um, 3. And if you have a cube minus b cube this is the same as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared can i recall this so if this is correct our a now is going to be x and our b is um one okay so a minus b becomes x minus um, 1 then a squared is going to be x squared plus a b is going to be x times 1 and that is x then plus b squared is going to be 1 squared and that is still 1 right then I proceed to this term here which is x minus 1 as we have 0 there and then from here, x minus 1 is here and it's over there. So we can factorize and have x minus 1 as the common factor. Then in here, the whole of what I have in this parenthesis, which is x squared plus x plus 1, will be left over here. Then plus x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 1. Then we close it and equate to 0. Okay, so we still have our x minus 1, the common factor. Then if we proceed, we have this. I'm going to add what we have here. So we have x squared plus x plus 1 plus 1 and that is 2. So we equate this to 0 again. And now we are multiplying this and this to get 0. So we can just conclude that it's either x minus 1 equals 0 or x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. From here, our x is going to be 0 plus 1 and then we solve the other one later. Now here, we have our x to be equal to 1 as one of the solutions. And like I said, I'm going to solve this right away. Okay, we have our x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation and we're going to solve this using the formula method. 
And the formula has our A, B, C, right? The A is 1, B is 1, and C is 2. Now, what is the formula? I mean, what is um the quadratic general formula? Or the general formula for quadratic equation? X is minus B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 multiplied by a. So the next you will do is to substitute into this general formula. And then our x will now be b is 1, so we have minus 1 plus or minus, we have 1 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 right see it's over there then multiply by 2 because c is 2 then the whole of this will be divided by 2 now our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared that is still 1 minus 4 times 1 times 2 it's 8 this is divided by 2. This is supposed to be 2 times 1 because a is 1. And 2 times 1 will still give 2. Okay, so let's continue on the other side. Okay, so our x will now be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 divided by 2. And this can be simplified to get x equals minus 1 plus or minus square root of 7. See, I didn't write the negative, so I'll pick the negative and then um, multiply. So I'll have um, root 7 times root negative 1. Then this is over 2. If I want to proceed... My x will now be minus 1 plus or minus. We have square root of 7 times i. Because square root of negative 1 is i. Everything is over 2. To rearrange x will be minus 1. Okay, we have plus i root 7 divided by 2, right? Or we have minus 1 minus i root 7 divided by 2. So from here we have two solutions already. Let's bring the three solutions here. x1, the first value is 1. Then x2 is from here, minus 1 plus i root 7 divided by 2, the second value. Then x3 is minus 1 minus i root 7 divided by 2. These three are the solutions to the equation.